This here is Homer the Homesteader and my first cousin, twice removed Miss Sunny. Hi. Howdy, Miss Sunny here is up here visiting in the Michigan area. I'm from Texas, so. From Texas? You're not used to some of the stuff we got around here now, are you, Sunny? Nope. We, we're picking some berries and. What did we come out here in search of that you were showing me where on my homesteader's property, what did we come out here in search of? We would search for berries, okay. like mulberries, blackberries, and raspberries. Right, so we're just kind of seeing what's right here at the end of June up in this area. So you want to tell me about the black raspberries and maybe show me some? I'm going to keep the camera on you. So, if you'll show me where we got some ripe here. So there are some that are over here that like you have to pick. Like there's one over there. There's one over there. I think that's Let me get my camera turned around so we can see you. This is one. So. Nice. And then and are there so some more on that bush? How do you tell these ones when they're ripe there, Sonny? You have to tell if they're really black, right? Right. These are called black raspberries. Plus there are some that aren't ripe yet. Right, and those ones, let's see if I can get a good shot at the bush here. Some are not that ripe yet, and I think I found some more. Over you can here. see them, they start. If I can get this camera to work right like I'd like it do now, let me give you a little introduction there. This here is hard, we not, don't got it on the regular camera. Oh, there we go. So these red ones in here aren't quite ripe, I they start see. out in this green. Range. I see one. Yeah. So there are two right here. Right yeah. Here. So those are black raspberries. You want to take me then, Sonny, over I to the. Where are we going now? I see some flowers over there. <coughs> you see some flowers? Well, you're going to look at the camera with me. Talk a little bit about what kind of flower, what color flowers. Do you know what this here flower is as we're foraging? No, I think that might be some type of flower that might smell like, smells kind of like lavender. This one, I'm going to tell you, hold this one, and I'm going to get this one. Do you know what this one is? I have no idea what these two are, but they might seem... Both good. of them are clover. Oh, yeah. Different types of clover. Our horses love clovers. You have horses? You want to tell me a little bit about your horses? So our horses are named Sadie and Sugar. So yeah. um, they are brown and white and they're pretty stubborn. Very stubborn. And normally I don't go out and feed them, but my uncle does. Yeah. They are, love clovers. Are you sure they're not mules if they're stubborn? <laughs> no. No, they're just horses. Huh? Yeah. They love types of clovers they love clovers like four leaf clovers but uh -huh. they have three leaves though three leaves we have mostly. those in texas but we don't have these at all you have the smaller clovers yes. like this like this but it has a heart shape it has a heart shape well hold on to this this actually what kind of flower is this do you know it's a daisy it's a daisy do you have daisies down there in texas we do but they don't well they do kind of smell though ah, they do they're bugs do they smell good or bad? Well, they do smell good. And nice. And I see some more berries. You see some more berries? Well, that's a good prompt to say we're out here foraging today. And so far, we found ripe, and this is the end of June, right? Yep. We found mulberries on a mulberry tree. That's usually where you find them, right? Yes. Except the birds get to them pretty good. If you go to Aunt Connie's, you can get lots of mulberries. Yeah, you've been down to Aunt Connie's in Chicago, haven't you? Yep, and... And we're going here. over here. Over here you can see some berries over there. Oh yeah, some more black raspberries. Okay. We're gonna go in there and get them, but I was gonna kind of wrap up on our video. We got, we found so far, we came looking for mulberries. So we are going to do a new video, right? Yeah, but we're gonna keep that under wraps. Yeah. That's going to be on Facebook Live. You can always find us on Time Travelers there. Yep. And we do and thank you, you for... you can go on Facebook and type in Homer the Homesteader or YouTube. Right. Same for Pizza Eden Homestead. Both those work, don't they? Yep. 
This is one of my biggest 10 fans right here. Yeah. Yep. And um, he's my uncle. Yep. Or you're my first cousin twice yeah. removed. But I like to call you an uncle. Uncle, uncle. So but anyway, we've been out foraging. We found mulberries, raspberries, and black raspberries so far ripe. Called them black caps when I was a kid. So we're gonna get back to foraging and just let you know here in this part of Michigan, which is kind of the southern part of the lower peninsula, the end of June, we can at least attest to ripe mulberries, ripe raspberries. We found those on raspberry briars. Yeah. And ripe black raspberries. So uh, well, my hair was a little bit longer before I got it cut. Am I right? Yep, a lot bit longer and now yeah. it's shorter. Yeah, and that is because it got too hot. Uh-huh. And that's why we had to cut it. Your hair is just like mine. No, because yep. you're bald. <laughs> no, my hair was a little bit longer and then I cut it. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah, I did. Anyway, we're gonna get back to foraging. And, and we'll see you soon. We'll see you soon. Don't, what do we tell them about the property at the end? Just thought you'd like an update on the property. Just thought you'd like an update on the property. Just thought you'd like an update on property. Thanks for joining Sonny and I out here at Ma Homesteaders. Bye.